What is going on everybody? Welcome back to video number two of the fiberglass bodywork series. Uh, this stuff's had several days to dry, so this is that uh, oh, angel hair. It's called Bondo glass. Yep, this is that Bondo glass. It's on there. It is, it is hardened up, so we're gonna sand that down today and uh, see if we can get maybe some body filler on there. So just like last time, I'll get you guys on time lapse so you can uh, watch the process. pretty smooth on stuff. Um, you can kind of see some dimples left in areas, like right there. That'll all get filled in with body filler. That's my next, my next phase. So the purpose of that was not to get every imperfection out. I just wanted to make sure to get flat, curvy areas, and then I'll fill the rest in with body filler. So that's looking pretty good. Man, this thing's a pain in the rear. I've got it looking decent. I've still got some shaping to do with, with the body filler. It's not gonna look perfect. Oh well. And then back here, just getting the, all that stuff will get filled in. Getting the curve back in there, filling in stuff that chunked out there. I tried to get rid of the crack back here, but you can see it's still it's still in there. This is where the, this body's actually two piece. It's, well, you can't see it from there, but. It's it. Not really. And then back here, you can see all the darker stuff is areas that I didn't get down to with the sander because I was trying to get that, get that nice curve back in there. And then you can see where the cracks were. That'll get filled in with, with body filler. Just getting that nice curve back in there is the, the main thing with this Bondo glass. And then I got that done. So and then you see me spraying uh, soapy water on there. I just cleaned up the soapy water before I put, put the body filler on there. Sorry, the old never boys are riding their, their dirt bikes and four wheelers. They're having Having a good time today, and I do not blame them. It's, it is gorgeous outside. So, all right, I'll put you back on time lapse. I'll get some uh, filler mixed up. And get that on.
body filler is on in the areas I was gonna put body filler on. <clears throat> so that's got a 15 minute dry time. So once that dries, I'll come back and sand that. Oh, I forgot some down there. So I'll put some down there. But once all that dries, I can come back and sand that. I'll be able to shape that just a little bit more. Um, we'll sand it and then uh, start getting everything taped up and prepped and ready for paint. So that is the goal. We'll see you in 15. All right, it's been 15 minutes. This stuff is hard. So we'll uh, start sanding it up. everybody we have got the body work done see me peeling off all the tape we were able to to save most of the graphics there the only thing we got coming in we got the new tin coming for up here and then the name on both sides and then uh, our Macaulay insurance stickers got destroyed on the fender so I'm getting some new ones and I'll probably put them back here right on the corner. But uh, everything turned out good. There's still some imperfections in there, but like I said, it is it is good enough to get me back out on the track and uh, back to racing. So I'm extremely happy with how everything turned out. There's uh, definitely some, I don't even know if you can tell it on camera. You can see it kind of right there the old paint and the new paint where I taped up there. The old old paints had a couple races on it, so you can definitely see a line there between fresh paint and old paint. But 
nobody's gonna be able to tell when that thing's going around the track. So I'm extremely happy I was able to save everything. To me, it was worth it. Um, I spent, in total, on this repair, $55.82 uh, just for the body and the hood. Um, the fenders, like I said, are $400. So $452 in total to repair the entire body. So, uh, and that's with me doing all the work. If somebody else was to do this, I think I had total, oh, probably 25 to 30 hours. Probably, probably closer to 20. Let's say 20 to 25 hours in body work and uh, painting and stuff like that. So all in all, it was worth it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, body work series. Um, next up to come, we'll be putting this car back together. So uh, you guys like, share, subscribe. Uh, I think we're almost up to 100 followers. So we sure appreciate you guys following along on this journey with us and uh, keep sharing the videos, like, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. So we hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.